I like what they're doing because when people are racing down the street here at highway speeds and just blowing through the stop signs, that's never good. There's a new safety plan in place in Minneapolis to help combat street racers and other crime related activity in the downtown area. The city of Minneapolis put up concrete barriers in the mill district today. Mary McGuire joins us live tonight and Mary, the hope is to put an end to the all the after hours chaos that's been going on. And Karen, this weekend, things in parts of downtown Minneapolis will look different as those concrete barriers go up and state patrol troopers go out to patrol for violent crime. I love living downtown. This is a, it's a beautiful area, a lot of energy, wonderful folks. As a caretaker for a building in the Mill District of Minneapolis, Nathan Kiefer says he loves and appreciates his neighborhood and his neighbors. But after what he witnessed on the 4th of July, he's glad to see something being done about recent crime. It was chaotic. It was overwhelming. And my first impression was is uh, I had never seen or witnessed anything like it. Whenever you would stop them, they would pull the fireworks, turn the fireworks on you, and they were shooting them at us. Minneapolis police say these concrete barriers at Park in Washington are a direct response to the lawlessness on the 4th, where groups of young people took over parts of downtown, shooting fireworks into buildings, at police cars, and at each other. The barriers are designed to be a temporary but longer term solution to deter criminal activity. Prevention is worth a pound of cure. Another solution officials are pointing to is help from outside agencies amid an MPD staffing shortage. This weekend, the state patrol will assign 20 additional troopers and their helicopter throughout Minneapolis, focusing on deterring street racing. Extra 911 dispatchers will also be dedicated to this extra enforcement. Now, investigators with the Minnesota BCA are continuing to assist Minneapolis police with violent crime. Through September, they will have 12 investigators and one crime analyst helping specifically with murder investigations and gun crimes. Reporting live in Minneapolis tonight, Mary McGuire, Fox 9.